If you want to follow me, you can download this working file from the link in the description below. So we should be in the same spot. If you open your file, you should see this screen. And let's start working. Here I have my screen cast keys. If you would like to see what I am clicking, I will go through this tutorial quite quick. But if you would like to see a longer version of it, I have a hour long course on Skillshare where I explain everything in detail. Let's jump into the render view. I have all the lights and all the cameras. And let's create a plane. So let's move it up, G and Z. Let's scale it up and rotate it on Z axis. Uh, let's get back to the camera view. It's great, this plane is not in my camera view. So let's create a particle system. Uh, let's press plus and the particles is falling. And yeah, that looks terrible. Uh, those halos looks bad, so let's create a snowflake. In object mode, press Shift A, let's create a circle, and let's keep maybe six vertices or eight. I think six will be enough. Okay, let's create uh, where is my, I guess, this circle. So I'll press G and X to move it on X axis. I would like to move it out of the frame and um, I will go into edit mode, press A to select all and I will fill it by pressing F. I will select the top face and I will extrude it. So that's basically my snowflake. I will go into the object mode, shade smooth. I will add shade smooth and uh, I will give a material for it. So I'll press plus new uh, let be material one base color it's uh, of course white um i'll keep everything as it is i'll just change the emission color to white and i'll reduce emission strength a little bit i know we will see in the scene We'll adjust that. So I'll press zero to jump into my camera view and I'll get back to my particle settings. So particle settings and uh, in render, you can see what, that we have render as halo. I will change that to object and I will take this, hmm, I don't know how in English to say, but this, and pick our object which is circle and now you can see those circles are falling but that looks terrible let me deselect they are very plain and it looks like coins or something like that so let's enable rotation and uh, let's randomize it to max to one and if we go back to the first frame and uh, now it looks way 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 better another thing both circles are very big so i will reduce the scale to 0 0.2 0 0.02 yeah that's better i think that's okay size for the snowflakes we can enable uh, skill randomness so all of those snowflakes won't be in the same scale. They will have a different size on them. We don't have enough snowflakes, right? So let's increase the number. I'll just add one zero, so 10,000. And let's see how it looks. It looks good, but snowflakes are falling very quick. So we need to reduce the uh, speed of them. So let's go to physics. And we have those three settings. So we need to increase the damp. And uh, 0.2, something like that, that should work very well. I like this, uh, this the, 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 the speed. And the snowflakes disappear very quickly. So that's because 
the lifetime of my snowflakes is only 50. I'll change that to 300 because my animation is going to be 300 frames long. Now we have 200 but we will fix that a little bit later. Before that I would like to remove those disgusting shadows that our particle plane casts. So I'll select this plane and while I'm in Eevee, uh, yeah, I'm in Eevee, I can go into material settings, give some kind of a material. It doesn't matter, we won't see that anyway. And in shadow mode, just choose none. And we don't have those shadows. We can do the same with the snowflake. Let's select the snowflake and in shadow mode, press none and the snowflakes won't cast the shadow either but if we go in and change our rendering settings into cycles we still have a shadow in cycles we have another setting so if we go to the, our particle system plane and we can go into the options this rectangular and uh, do -do 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 -do, in the shading and revisibility and we have shadow we can disable that and we don't have shadow anymore here is the same let's disable the shadows for the snowflake because i guess we will render this in cycles because now cycles are very fast so yeah we don't have those annoying shadows anymore and we can get back into the ev mode because it will help us uh, work faster. So let's see how our snowflakes look like. It is a little bit glitching. Uh, I think I will bake my animation. Uh, you can go to cache and just bake it. It's a very fast process and you will see the render faster. You, it's just annoying to delete and add bake but that I think that looks good all this scene looks good I will change the dope sheet into the timeline and uh, yeah that looks good so we have this uh, we need to add some wiggling and we we have two ways at least two ways to do that so we can go into we can delete the bake and go into the forces and increase the brownian that will add this movement which is good for for a snow effect i noticed that if i use brownian my animation won't loop so i don't want to use that instead of that I will add a force field so force field and turbulence and I will move it in the middle of the scene so G and Z and um, let's see how it looks now it doesn't change anything but if I will go to the do, 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 this those force field settings and I will increase the strength just something fif well, 15 should be enough and let's play it now and now we have this movement which is great yeah that's awesome so now we created the snowing animation and we would i would like to loop it uh, to do that we can get back to our plane and go to the particle settings and adjust things i will change the start frame to minus 150 and end frame at 150 whoa 150 and i will change the, my timeline length to 300 frames we have those settings we can i think we can bake it and preview how it looks So our animation already starts with the snowflakes and it is snowing, it is snowing and at frame 150 it just stops snowing and my snow falls, falls down. I, I want to make sure that at frame 300 I don't have any snow. My last snowflake should fall before 
the frame 300 because if it won't uh, our animation won't loop i'll delete the bake uh, and i will create another particle system and i will choose first particle system as this particle system and i will make it separate uh, by pressing this and now i can change the settings for the second particle system and it has the same settings as the first right now but i just need to tweak frame start and end frames so i want this to start when the first particle system ends so at 150 and I would like to end it in 300 frames, so 450. And now, let's bake those. Let's bake the first particle system. That's a quick process. And let's go to the second particle system and bake that too. And let's see how it looks. So it starts here at frame 150. The first particle system stops emitting and uh, the second particle system starts. And here it should loop perfectly. Yep, so that's great. We have a looping animation and uh, the last just bonus step, we can add uh, a snowy look for our scene. I already made the short tutorial for that, but I'll just repeat myself. So go to edit preferences and make sure that you enabled the real snow add-on. If it's disabled like that, just enable it. And uh, here you will have a real snow. And now I would like to select all and I will deselect the objects that I don't need. I don't need the snowflake, I don't need this background plane uh, i don't need this plane come on i don't need it uh, the snow won't appear on the lights so i don't need to deselect those and i would like to snow fall on on basically this scene so i will keep the default settings you can adjust those and play with those if you want but i'll just press add snow and it will take something like 10 seconds to to add the snow to my scene yep it was something like 10 seconds so i probably skipped those that uh, and i have the uh, snow i have uh, snowing animation which is loops at 300 frames and uh, I'll render this. I will render this in cycles. You can render it in Eevee if you want. And uh, that's that's basically the tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you would like to watch more detailed course, more beginner friendly, you can find it on my Skillshare.